Hey guys, welcome back to another video. And in this one, we're gonna be training like Manuel Neuer. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right, so the first exercise is relatively simple. It's throwing the ball up and the trainer throws the ball back and forward with him just to kind of get into hand-eye coordination, get the hands moving. So this first exercise is actually a bit harder than you might think. You're watching multiple things at once and the timing and the rhythm has to be correct. But once you do get the timing and the rhythm correct, it's a great way to get your hands warm before a session. Just have to get into the rhythm um, a bit. It's kind of difficult because I'm watching the ball go up and I'm watching it come down. Kind of keep your eye on two things at the same time. Try a couple more. And of course, as it is with everything, the more you practice, the better you get at it. All right, so now we're gonna be doing the same, but with three balls, so Kenneth has to throw the ball up and down as well. <laughs> I think we'll be all right. All right, so this second exercise was the same, but kind of a step up. So starting out with this, we really struggled. With this one, it's not just one person working, it's both people working. So you and your partner both have to be able to perform the exercise correctly, otherwise it doesn't work out. So there has to be a certain type of synergy between you and your partner, otherwise it just doesn't flow correctly. The rhythm has to be right, the timing has to be right, and only then it works out. It took a lot of tries and a lot of practice, and we were at this for a good couple of minutes, but after a while we slowly got it. It's quite interesting to see how our brains slowly start to understand what's going on and we keep slowly improving and eventually we fully got it. Okay, I would say that was a pretty good attempt. This is much more difficult than I thought, but I think it's a matter of practice because as you saw at the start, we were kind of struggling. But once your brain understands what's going on and what you have to do, then it just kind of works out better. So yeah, we'll maybe try a couple more times and then we'll go on to the next exercise. It's just your brain has to kind of click, just like riding a bike. Once you get it, you get it. We've tried this enough, we're moving on to the next one. All right. For the next exercise, which is I think a bit easier, it's just two balls moving side to side, throwing the ball. Yeah, should be doable, right? Okay, let's give it a try. So with this next exercise, it was kind of the same as with the last one. Uh, our brains have to first of all kind of understand what was going on and we had to kind of get into the muscle memory of what to do and what rhythm to get into. Uh, and it took us a few tries to get there, but once it did click, we did understand what was going on. And it was a fun exercise to do. As you can see, it did go quite well. Once again, you have to sync up with your partner, have to get into the correct rhythm. And once we did find the correct rhythm, it just worked out perfectly and we could just keep on going. It was a great exercise to do and a lot of fun. I think it's all about, once again, just your brain needing to comprehend what's going on. Once it clicks, then you got it. Great exercise for hand-eye coordination, movement, getting the hands warmed up. Get ready to go. All right, on to the next one. Okay, so the next exercise is kind of the same. Still getting into the hand-eye coordination. Kind of just gonna drop kick a ball into my hands while I'm throwing a ball up in the air and catching that again. That's basically it. All right, let's go. After having done the first two exercises, this one was actually quite easy. The ball was coming in faster, but there were only two balls instead of three. I feel like the first two exercises helped me to kind of activate my brain, and now I knew exactly what I had to do, and it just felt so much easier. And of course, the more we did it, the easier it got as well. So I think this is definitely a drill that I'll be incorporating in my future training. That's a good exercise just for your hand-eye coordination, getting your brain set for you know, your training and stuff. Uh, once again, I had to get into it a bit, but I think we did all right. I think so too. All right, let's go on to the next one. So now they're putting two poles into the ground, and I think the exercise they're gonna do is put five balls 
Nori is going to sit on the ground, run towards in between the pulls as you get five balls blasted at him. Quick speed, reflex, you know, fast fire balls. And then the last ball is thrown behind him. Okay? Alright, let's do it. Alright, let's go. This exercise was so much fun. It's a combination of several things. Getting up on your feet quickly, fast footwork, getting on the line, into your set position, and then fast hands and quick reactions. You know, this is what goalkeeping is all about, and this is what I love. So with this exercise, it's all about first quick feet, getting in position, then it's just fast hands, you know. Decision making as well. Should I go for the catch? Should I not? And often with close shots like these, you just can't catch it, so you need to deflect it the right direction, which is also a skill, right? All right, I'm gonna do a couple more. Yeah. All right, so the next exercise is kind of a high speed reflex one as well. So he's got five balls, on the corner of the eight yard box and his trainer is just smashing them at him <laughs> with volleys uh, so it's a turnaround and then you just get five or six volleys smashed straight at you um his trainer was getting the balls thrown to him we don't have anyone here it's just me and kennett so he's just going to be picking them up and smashing them at me so we'll see how this goes <laughs> let's go Kind of different because the trainer's getting the balls thrown to him so we can just quickly grab him and smash him kind of has to pick it up each time but you know great exercise for reflexes and coordination so i'm gonna do it a couple more rounds I think there's a lot to learn here from these exercises as well. You know, Manuel Neuer being one of the best goalkeepers in the world. He's a tall guy, he's huge, and he's fast. Um, and his technique is amazing. And this um, training was pretty much focused on reflexes and uh, movement speed, which is a great training. So if you have the chance, definitely try this out. It was good fun. And um, yeah, that was it. I hope you did enjoy and learned something. If you did, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel. It's much more fun stuff to come. See you guys in the next one.